Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. It's time for another handgun showdown where the viewers of this channel decide which manufacturer produces the better handguns. Today we are measuring up Grand Power versus Canic or Janic as I am often corrected. Grand Power makes some very fine handguns, not as popular. I think a lot of people know about Canic handguns. Maybe not so many know about Grand Power, so I hope you give Grand Power a fair look before you leave your comment. But before we get into that, I have to report the results from the last handgun showdown where we measured up Beretta versus Walther. This had to be the closest handgun showdown that I have seen since doing this. It was so tight. But in the end, Beretta took it. And I think it's that M9 model. You know, people love them. They really, really do. They say they're extremely accurate. Walther had a great showing. Tons of people chose Walther, but just by a hair, Beretta had a few more. We've got Janik versus Grand Power, so let's get into it. Let's start with the Slovakian-made Grand Power handguns. I have a strong admiration for Grand Power pistols. I think those who own them will verify it. They're not as popular as some of the models out there. You may have to order online, but they don't disappoint. That I guarantee. They have some things in common. They all share 15 round mags. Now, these three are all 9mm. 15 round mags will work in any of these. This here is the Excalibur. It's a race gun with a 5 inch fluted bull barrel. It has ambidextrous controls as, as well as these. Ambidextrous controls, left-handed friendly, thumb safety, slide stop, magazine release. Makes it really nice for all shooters. Adjustable rear sight, fiber optic front sight, and a single action trigger that I am measuring. Just over three pounds, and it is nice. This gun makes me feel like a better shooter than I actually am. I originally saw it at SHOT Show. I said I have to get my hands on that, and I've had it for over five years now, and I have loved it ever since. Extremely accurate shooter. Over here, we've got the Grand Power Q100. This was their first striker fire handgun, the Q100. Same 15 round magazines, slide stop, magazine release, ambidextrous, 4.3 inch, rotating barrel front serrations the trigger here is really something a soft shooter trigger 3.6 pounds the reset right there i made a video a while back i called this the gun world's most underappreciated handgun the grand power q100 and that is an accurate shooter as well my newest grand power is right here it's the p1 ultra I like the lightning cuts in the slide, the fiber optic front sight, the same 15 round magazines, ambidextrous, 3.7 inch barrel, accessory rail, double action, single action, rotating barrel. But the trigger here, the single action trigger anyways, is four pounds. So they all have really light triggers, they all have nice triggers, and that is one short reset. Grand Power makes some great handguns. You know, they they may not show up at your local gun store, but if you ever get a chance to check one out, you certainly will not be disappointed. Here we have Canic Pistols. They offer affordable handguns and a lot of accessories in the case, including holsters in many cases. We'll start right here with the Canic TP9 SFX. This is a large gun, 5.2 inch barrel. Has a gray Cerakote tungsten finish. 20 round magazines, plus two base plate right there. Lightning cuts in the slide, fiber optic front sight, adjustable rear sight, optic ready. Great ergonomic feel, additional back straps. The trigger I'm measuring right at four and a half pounds. Right there is a very short reset. Canic says all you have to do is purchase the gun. You can hit the range and begin competing day one because they offer so much and this gun has gained a very fine reputation for itself throughout the years. Over here we've got Canic's smallest handgun. It's a TP9 Elite Subcompact. It also has the Cerakote Gray Tungsten Finish. 12 round mags. Does have an ambidextrous slide stop, a full rail there, front serrations, optic ready. Striker fire indicator right there. 
and a loaded chamber indicator. Nice pistol. Gives you a full-size feeling with a subcompact model, 3.6-inch barrel. I'm measuring the trigger pull here right at 5 pounds. The reset right there. Extremely short reset. This will also accept the magazines from these other Canic pistols. And I've been happy with this since the day I received it. Over here, we've got the Canic TP9. SF Elite. This is my newest acquisition, my newest Canic acquisition, I should say. 15 round mags, 5.1, or I'm sorry, 4.1 inch barrel. Front serrations, nice serrated black rear sight, fiber optic front sight, loaded chamber indicator, striker fire indicator, nice ergonomic feel, five pound trigger as well. Feels great at the range. Like all three of these Canics just shoot so well, and they all have very nice triggers not much you have to do when you purchase a canic as far as aftermarket parts and accessories go you know they're they're good to go out of the case and these three i think are great handguns which manufacturer do you feel makes the better handguns did you give grand power a fair look and if so is it the grand power handguns or is it the canic handguns i look forward to tallying up your votes and reporting the results back with the next handgun showdown if you like videos like this please subscribe and share i always appreciate the thumbs up button thanks for watching and you guys be safe